The title of my dissertation is The Perception of International Graduate Students on the Academic Advice and Support in HBCUs. I came up with this idea because I am one of the international graduate students who are studying in HBCUs. And I do feel that as a member of this group, uh, we have specific academic advising requirements. So the U.S. is a top choice of uh, international students and uh, the, as they brought economic and educational contributions to the states, but international students face academic, financial, and social problems. Academic advising is the most important need and a top predictor of their college experience. The significance of my study for students, they can voice their expectation and satisfaction to raise institutional awareness. For advisors and school leaders, they can better understand students' unique academic challenges and systematically evaluate the quality of the academic advising provided. I have three research questions. The first one is, um, what are international graduate students' academic advising experiences in HBCUs? The second one is about their expectations. And third one is about their satisfaction with academic advising support. So I use a quantitative survey research because it, they are flexible, they, are, they can capture quantitative description of trends from broader population. They put international students at ease because of some Eastern culture, like where I came, uh, students are not allowed to challenge authorities like school or teachers. Also, we have anonymous questionnaire to make it possible to get honest and accurate responses. The participants are about 200 international graduate students from uh, three HBCUs in the southern states of the U.S. And I have uh, 75 responses. The instruments I use is a inventory of academic advising functions from Alan and Smith. Is the question into the monkey and distribute it uh, online. I have the results like 77% of them receive academic advising from their department, 12% from peers. Two major ways of assessing academic advising is in person and by email. And 86% of them feel they are accurately advised. Here is a table shows us international graduate students' educational goals. Since educational goals is one of the major academic advising experiences. So we can see that international graduate students have very strong will to graduate. That is, they feel it's important to graduate, 98%. They have a plan to achieve their educational goals, 98%. Also, 95% of them plan to graduate it's because that is why they are here for. They are here for the degree. Here's the main score comparison of the 12 academic advising functions set put into two categories of developmental advising and prescriptive advising. We can see that the mean score are almost the same. It means that students attach the same importance to these two styles of academic advising. Um, we can see from the satisfaction rating that students have a higher mean score for prescriptive advising than developmental advising. Although developmental advising is most advocated by professionals. We have the implications for advisors to uh, establish regular communication with students and understand their challenges, have some cultural sensitivity, have some knowledge about cultural background. For institutions, they could uh, provide training and resources to academic advisors. Okay, that is the end of my presentation.